Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to share with you my first impressions on Diablo 4. I've been blasting through the game since Friday and I just want to get my initial thoughts out of the way before they go cold because I've had a really, really positive experience with Diablo 4. Uh, first of all, can we just talk about the launch itself? I've never been involved in a launch that had fewer problems than the one with Diablo 4. Granted, there was a little bit of lag in game as you were playing and there were also a few game bugs that might have even caused some people to die on the hardcore league. However, other than that, there was no queues, there was no problems, no DDoS attacks, the game files weren't corrupt, uh, etc. Myself, I chose the hardcore mode of the game to begin with, even though in hindsight that obviously was not necessarily the best um, decision that I made in my life. However, I really enjoyed my time there and um, I died at level 51 after completing uh, all of my campaign and obviously many dungeons before that and also of course my capstone dungeon. Mildly proud of myself for even reaching level 51 and also the way in which I died was was from a fiery meteor during a hell tide event um, so that kind of for me makes it a little bit better simply because I didn't just die to the butcher as a matter of fact I killed the butcher um, a couple of times but I died out uh, from uh, mother, mother nature's wrath in that sense. As a brand new player to Diablo 4 and to ARPGs in general, there is a lot to learn and generally speaking the way you think about Diablo 4 and playing the game is sort of has another little nuance when you're playing on the hardcore league because the decisions you take actually feel impactful. A really good experience I had in general um, with the hardcore league and with the release of Diablo. However, um, there's a lot of other little things that I've noticed, such as, for example, the mount system. They have a, a very well done mount system. It's actually useful. My mount is actually my friend. And on top of that, you can also jump over obstacles, for example, with your mount. If there's like a like a crevice in a mountain side and you just want to jump to the other side, you don't have to unmount, jump, mount again. The music itself, the background music, is so adequate based on the zones that you're in. It some some zones have so cool music. I I was discovering an orient oriental type zone at one point and. It just really got you to be in that vibe. The day and night cycles, I thought to myself, that's a cool little touch, right? It's quite expected in 2023. I've seen it before, though. However, in Diablo, um, especially on the hardcore version of the game where you're sort of always trying to avoid death, um, it, it really sort of changes the way you play your character, at least for me personally. During the night, I felt a lot more cautious because, you know, it's darker, so I couldn't really see everything around me, all of the mobs far away. And uh, it also, I don't know, may maybe I just got too much invested into the game and I'm just cra going crazy right now. But, you know, the day and night cycle affected my gameplay to a little bit of a degree, which was a cool extra touch, I want to say. Uh, it's not just a visual thing, it's also like a gameplay thing. In terms of the story, I did take people's advice to heart and I will actually look at all of the story and all of the cutscenes and read everything. However, for this first playthrough, what I did just because of the race and I thought I would just, you know, skip as many cutscenes as humanly possible, I took off my headphones and I looked away from the screen whenever there was something that had a little bit of story that was unskippable before the escape worked. So um, I'm going to redo the story and I'm going to actually look at everything um, on the soft core when I'm going to start my character there after this whole sort of like charade with um, the race is over. And um, I cannot wait because the little that I've seen, it's absolutely gorgeous. In terms of gear and progression, Throughout my leveling up process, I did feel that um, it, it, there is there's maybe a lot more uh, or maybe my expectations of an ARPG was that I would get to the end faster and then I would just, you know, start grinding there. Not really the case in Diablo 4. It's, um, it takes quite a while to get to level 100 and thinking about like seasons where you you, you need you maybe want to get to level 100 on several different characters and then sort of like compete there this getting there is not as quick as i 
would have expected it to be. It's just my preconceived notion of, M of ARPGs is that I get there quick and then I just start blasting there at the end. I was surprised, quite pleasantly surprised, to see that people are not level 100 after their first sit down and play of Diablo 4. Other than that, very addictive game. Um, I'm very happy to say that it's a very addictive game. Everything in the game just lures you to, to play more and more. But that's fine. At least there's no real money involved. And because of that, but also because of the fact that there's no real FOMO, there's no uh, gigantic rush, even this race to the level 100, it's really... It, it really doesn't feel that you're absolutely forced to do it, otherwise you won't be able to play the game. And all of these little reasons combined really make it, from my point of view, having played um, the games that I've played in the past, a very relaxing, pleasant and positive um, experience so far in Diablo 4. I'm very happy to be here, excited to finally start discovering the game properly with all of the classes and go through all of the setups, go through the best gear, etc. Um, um, in the near future on the Softcore League as well. Other than that, I wish you that are watching me a fantastic day wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying Diablo 4. If you're not and if you can spare um, the 70 bucks for, um, for the price of the game, definitely a positive experience can definitely recommend and I'm gonna see you in my next video or live stream here on YouTube until then take it easy and uh, take care